Hello, I'm Nathan Comiskey, and you're watching Sport and Icons. I've got one of these for you. <laughs> Nathan, congratulations. First round stoppage, was it 1 minute 26, was it? Something like that, 1.36. I don't know, don't quote me on it. I don't know. It was under two minutes. It was under two minutes. Either way, what took you so long? I don't know, mate. I just want to apologise to you first and foremost, Martin, um, for fucking hanging around so long. But uh, hey, I got the job done anyway, so... Well, that's uh, two stoppages in a row now, mate. It is two two first round stoppages, but I mean, mate, honestly, like already, I'm I'm already not as happy as maybe someone else might be because I have no illusions about me level. It doesn't mean because I'm stopping these kids in the first round that um, you know I'm some sort of uh, I'm up there yet. You know, it certainly doesn't mean that. I've got no illusions about me level, but I've got no limit to me ambition. And that's what's been going through my head this week. I've got no limit to me ambition, but no illusion about me level. I know, you know, I'm not in the name to, I'm not even there yet to throw me name in the half for, for, well, wouldn't say Northern area, that'll be soon, but English, British, you know, I know I'm not there yet. But give me a year or two and I will be. And once I'm there, the, the sky's the limit, you know what I mean? I believe I'm more capable of what I think I am. Do you know what I mean? And so we all are. That's human potential, but uh, I'm just going to keep grafting, mate. Just going to keep grafting and and racking up these wins. That's the plan. That's the plan. Well, what is it that I told you? You're going to be a superstar. You're going to make your mark in boxing, uh, and you proved me right so far. Well, yeah. You say that's like throwing shit off a wall, mate. Some of it will stick because you say that to everyone, Martin. Excuse my language, eh? Excuse my French. Sorry. <laughs> that's not true. I said to everybody. Um, so. When you're out next, then, I guess, I mean... When am I out next? I believe it's going to be the 10th of July. Um, and believe it or not, I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break, a little bit of a break, because um, I've had some back-to-back -back camps recently. Um, probably since my first fight, I've had back-to-back -back camps, because even if I haven't boxed, as you know yourself, I've had a, two fights that have been cancelled and three that have went ahead. So just been non-stop in the gym, and the body does need a little rest and the mind as well. Um, check in with my social life for a couple of weeks and that and uh, then I'll be back in the gym probably start in May um, to get ready let's say for the July the 10th I think that's Matty's next show or Matty and Phil's next show it's hard to believe that uh, you literally finished your fight five minutes ago and you, you don't have a bead of sweat on you well that's it I've been told that I came out and Danny Harper said have you broke a sweat and uh, I mean honestly mate I was disappointed you know when when the referee after he got the count I was I, I was itching to jump back on him because I can't remember the last shot I hit him with, but it didn't feel like it really sunk in. I knew I hit him with the right hook, like a bit of a bolo went through his solar plex, the first one. And I felt like I touched one of his, uh, one of his vertebrae when I went, sunk that shot in. But I think that was the one that really hurt him. And the other few um, just finished the job off. And you can see by his body language when he got up, he didn't want to know. Um, nobody does want to know, do you know what I mean? Nobody likes them body shots. Well, take these fights while you can, because they won't last forever, will they? Nah, they won't. They won't, mate. They won't. So, and I like to say, everyone says it, you don't get paid for overtime in this game. So, um, that was my intentions, and I, and they came true. They came true, and I ain't again. So I'm happy. Well, congratulations to you, Matt Jobs, your entire team. Thank you. And before I go, I want to say some thank yous. I'm not going to name any names for my family and friends because I'll upset too many people, and there's too many names to mention. But I love yous all. Yous, yous mean the world to me. My sponsors, the LGA Foundation, and Isaac and everyone at the Boiler House Gentlemen, and shout out to my very good friend Isaac, who just became director there. Well done, mate, love you a bit. Um, Matt Jobs, for giving me this opportunity. Two years ago, I stepped in the gym, turned pro, no sponsorship, no nothing, just a bit of dream and an ambition in the middle of COVID after losing my job. And here I am now, doing it, you know what I mean? It's been hard, hard work, six days a week. But I'm here and I'm loving it and I'm enjoying the process, mate. I'm enjoying the training camps. I'm enjoying all of it and having these amazing people around me. So back to the thank yous. Adam Barnsley, Martin, everyone at Job's Gym, John Slaughter for all of the graft he's put in with me. He's turned me into a different animal. Look at the, look at the shape of me. Look at the shape of me. John Slaughter, thank you. And uh, that's it for the thank yous. But um, God bless everyone. Stay safe. And thank you, Martin.